Hello. We are on our way to... Oh, I keep forgetting. Roundwood House. Roundwood House in County Leash because uh, it's a bank holiday weekend here in Ireland. And look at this. Magical rare event. It's 25 degrees here in Dublin. Look, look, at the, look at the sky. It's just amazing. So now we have to go and feed these guys to some lizards. Which for a vegetarian, it's a bit of a moral dilemma. But, you know. They're absolutely disgusting and they cause major issues in our relationship when I find them walking around the bedroom. Isn't that right? See you later. Sometimes they escape. Okay, we're gonna hit the road. Place. When you see this place, it looks amazing. It's in the middle of nowhere, at the foothills of the Shilly Bloom Mountains. It's gorgeous. See you in a minute. Bye. This is what we're doing before we go to the amazing house where we're feeding the lizards the disgusting things. Look at this. Oh. Oh, disgusting. I did a video and complete the offer to drive. Yay! So I get to relax the wind. Hi, Keith. Oh, hi. How's driving my car going for you? It's very good, but um, the man should always drive the woman because they're gentlemanly. Isn't that right, Rachel? Sure. I'll go along with that. Happy to. The weather is absolutely fucking fantastic. I think I've used the air conditioning in my car for like the second time. We've arrived at the house. It's very pretty. It wasn't that much of a drive, was it? That was like an hour. Uh, we got a little bit lost. About an hour's drive. It's not too bad. Let's go and take a look. It's gorgeous. Wait to see what we're staying in. We're staying in a little cottage, a cottage right at the back. And to walk down a little alleyway, kind of little, a little walk through the woods. A garden path. Let, let's take you on this walk. Like the secret garden. There's wild garlic. There, is that it? That yeah, it smells of it. We're gonna take the garlic for our dinners. So this is the house. Uh, this is, I'm not sure what it was. There's a little information thing in our cottage saying it was like, it used to belong to the Quakers. There's some chickens. Hi chickens. You don't have to fear us. We're vegetarians, we won't eat you. Hello. Oh 
an old television from ancient times. guinea pigs here and they just look, they look like um they look like wigs they're like the sentient wig hello let's see if they'll eat them oh no they're oh that's okay actually they look down the ones i've actually found some down the ones here. This place is gorgeous. This is a perfect spot for an escape. It's a bank holiday weekend in Ireland. I mean, Rachel were thinking, hmm, what should we do on Sunday night? So I took a look at the top 10, not the top 10, just like interesting places to stay in Ireland, close to where we are. And that's what we came to Roundwood House. And specifically this little cottage tucked away behind Roundwood House. We're nearly there. In a few moments, we'll have making spritz with Rachel Lally. <laughs> See the little building all the way down there? That's our place. That's our bed for the night. That's our room and board for the night. They call it the Hansel and Gretel Cottage. where we're staying for the night. Let's make it a better shot of it. It's so cute. It's gorgeous. And where are the mountains? The Sleep Blue Mountains? We're on them. Ah, we're on the mountains. <laughs> Come on in, I take you on a little tour of our Hansel and Gretel cottage. Watch your head coming in the door. And we kind of ruined it because we've got empty bags. A little kitchen. And through here, we have our little bedroom. And here. Spotless clean bathroom, little bathroom. Yeah, that's it. Nice tiny little cottage. So, we're gonna make a spritz. An Irish version of spritz now. I'm totally loving Aldi because they have this uh, massive bottle of Prosecco and also Aperini, which is their version of Aperol. And um, Aperol is like sometimes kind of difficult to get. So What's Aperol made from, Rachel? Made from rhubarb and herbs. Oh, and really? Delicious. Aperini. When you can't get Aperol, get Aperini. So, I have no idea how this is going to go. It's been in the car, so... We should maybe Explode. pop it over the sink. Yes. That went back. what we should have done. This is not luckily, how to make Prosecco. Luckily they've provided us with some kitchen roll. And uh, it's a large bottle, so... Didn't yeah. lose much, did we? No. 
So step one, making Prosecco, make sure you... No, making Aperol Spritz, make sure you put the Prosecco on the table. Like this. And then we'll wipe it away. That's how and you... So then the aroma of the Prosecco <laughs> permeates the room. So, we start with the Aperol. How many parts Aperol to Prosecco? To be two parts Aperol, three parts Prosecco, and one part out of water. What's that you're doing now, Rachel? Opening soda water that didn't explode. How did you open the soda water? Did you apply pressure to the... It. You twisted the cap? Awkwardly, because I'm left-handed, so... So, you garnish with a little bit of orange. You want to do it the real Italian way. I normally do little twists, but our glasses are quite small, so... Mm. I'd add little bits of pizza into it for the authentic <laughs> Italian flavor. Basil. Basil! Don't mention the war. Do you know what I'm doing? How many of these do you think we'll drink? A lot. Oh, I got the one with less. That's not fair. Cling, cling. Now we have some. It's literally mm. my favorite cocktail. Mmm, it's delicious. Cheers everybody, here's the Prosecco in our little Hansel and Gretel cottage. Mmm, that's delicious, Rachel. Rachel made some really nice pasta with some nice bread. We're enjoying it right now. And we were joined by this guy. Hey. Girl. Girl, guy, girl, I don't know. The caller says, do not feed, but we gave him or her some water, and he was very thirsty. And now he's just in here sleeping with us. Hey. Say hello. Hello, look at the waggy tail. Mm -hmm. I love him. He's now our adopted dog for the whole stay. We're chilling in the sun. Toad's doing. Having our Aperol spritz. Our dog friend is on the ground in front of us. We love our new dog. Serenity. Um. Oh, okay. I'll say, did you go around the side? We have like a little private area. It'd be great if you did yogurt. Yogurt? And a bat. Oh. There's the bat. So you don't fancy a shower? Come here for a bat. Is that an electric fence, you reckon? Um, it looks like it would be, but it sounds like one. It's like something out of saw. Like. Usually you can hear an electric fence. Oh, Rachel, we you touch this fence for a minute? This bat is like quite. Oh. <sighs> We're taking a walk along the perimeter. Oh, there's so many fucking bugs. I hate them.
What time is it? Kind of the roundabout way there. We've just reached heaven. So we, we just met one of the owners, Paddy. We met Hannah earlier on. She showed us at the cottage. Paddy just brought us up here. And he's gone to get us a glass of wine. He was like, do you want a glass of wine? Awesome. While you go check out the library. Wait and you yes. see this. Rachel is in heaven right now. This is fantastic, isn't it? Beautiful. The Library of Life. Do you think, Rachel? Life goals. What are you reading, Rachel? I'm reading the poetry of John Milton. I'm looking for a poem that I studied years and years ago, and it's a beautiful book. All the books in here are really pretty. Rachel is very happy here. What are you reading, Rachel? I read an amazing book about witchcraft. It's really cool. Oh, it's muddy. Muddy puddles. Rachel is having a religious experience at the moment. We don't actually know what this is, do we? We just we found other parts on the property. Oh, that's so cool. It's like, go this way. Stuff in there. I think we can I don't know. So we've just been in the library, which was amazing. Keith, you're gonna build me a library, right? I think we need to get a library. Yeah. That library was just, oh, it's so good. This whole place is amazing. It's pretty cool. And it's so chilled out. And we, we planned to, like, a, to go away for a night and we were looking at cities with pubs and bars and this, and you know, and then I seen this and I was like, this is that. I was like, there's no, it's, in the, it's in the middle of nowhere. There's nowhere to go. You're totally, 
cut off and it's gonna be pitch black tonight oh we'll probably see loads of stars <gasps> that could be really cool so um we're gonna go into the big house now and get some food um let's see what that's like just Yay. loving this place it's so it's chilled amazing. the weather's amazing it's like so summery it's, just, it's beautiful and cool and creepy and i was an hour away from my house so cheers everybody Ooh. we've all seen those videos where people have like one job and then they mess it up like royally but this person like serves a promotion when you see this this is awesome paddy who runs the place says go wait to see the ocd up in the barn take a look it's the neatest firewood ever i would not even take it Awesome. Too many bugs. This is the entrance hallway. And wait to see where me and Rachel are having dinner. This is all for us. chocolate mousse with a peanut parfait and some ice cream. <laughs> Demolition time. Yeah. So last night we went up to the house. We didn't have dinner because in the little cottage that we booked, it's kind of self-catering. So we brought our own food and we made our dinner here. But we went up to the big house to have kind of tea. We had uh, soup and cheese and dessert and wine. It was really, really nice. But when we were sitting in our kind of little drawing room area we could hear in the bigger kind of hall loads of singing singing and general merriment and we were like hmm we want to go over there so um we, <laughs> rachel kind of stuck her head in and said hi can we can we come in didn't you rachel yeah i was like hey can we come in and like listen to the music we hear the music and we're very lonely over there so we went in and we had a great night with everybody and wait to see these videos the the chef paddy that runs the place and it's kind of chef assistant um when they're serving the dinner they do singing chefs singing singing chefs singing chefs look at and this. also guitar playing chefs guitar and singing chefs look at this we they i asked paddy if i can put this footage up on the internet can we said, just check out the upside down map though that's i don't look at that it's bizarre isn't it? but uh, take a look at this the singing chefs Just listen to that. Serenity. So fucking nice. We're all finished and we've tidied up the little house. Bye bye little house. And we're going we're gonna go to see the Rock of Dunamays before it's we go rock. home. So it's a rock. Let's go see the rock. Let's go rock on the Let's rock. Let's go see the rock. Oh no. Disaster. What do I do here? Pull in at that little side.
That was fun. <laughs> you got a little bit of road rage surgery. It's like but a jewel. So pretty. I guess I'm still going straight. Yeah, I guess I am. Uh oh, there's a car stopped up here. That's the parking situation. It's pretty grim. Is it? Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, it's just like abandoned the car. Yeah. It's basically how it's here. Okay. We couldn't find anywhere to park up at the Rock of Dunham Maze, so we said fuck this and we're going home. So goodbye, thanks for watching the video. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Say bye Rachel. <laughs>